If you've been thinking about buying one of our drop-in kits or MTWs, you've probably been curious about some of the features of and how to tune our electronics. Before we get started, we get a lot of questions about tuning the dwell and felt like that deserved a whole video to itself that you can find that information linked down below. Still here? Cool. Well, we're gonna take an in-depth look at all the features and other programming of our Spartan electronics on this episode of What The Tech. The Spartan Electronics are one of our most popular offerings and a lot of people love them. They come in all of our Billet Series MTWs as well as an option for the V2 drop-in kit. They're super easy to tune and program with the trigger which is a really great feature as well as the fact that you don't have an external FCU that you have to worry about finding a place for in your grip or your buffer tube especially if you're already a little bit tight. This is the one that will come if you get a V2 drop-in kit and this is what you'll see if you have an MTW. It's worth noting, however, that the MTW1 has changed a little bit over time, and some of the older versions will have a physical switch on the back here for your selector switch instead of an optical switch like the newer version does. So let's take a look at getting these set up. It's very straightforward. Basically, you'd want to take a standard 7.4 volt LiPo battery, go ahead and just plug that into the JST connector here on the back, and then you would take this two pin connector and plug it into the solenoid on your engine. And at this point, the electronics should be firing. You'll have your trigger switch on the front here and your selector switch on the back on the V2 version. And on this one, like we talked about, your trigger switch for the MTW board would be right here. And your selector switch is this optical one on the back right here. So if we pull the selector switch carefully, we can hear the engine firing in semi. And if we go ahead and press down the selector switch on the back side, now when I pull the trigger switch, it's in full. So now let's take a look at the burst modes. Currently I'm in semi-auto and what sounds like three round burst. So now if you hold down your trigger for about five to 10 seconds, you should hear the engine make one little click once it's there, and now we'll see what programming mode we're in. So now it is in semi and two round burst. So let's do that again. Go back to semi. We'll hold down the trigger for about five to 10 seconds until it clicks. And now you'll see that it is Simmy Simmy, and you'll just keep following these steps until you get to where you want it to be. Let's take a look at one feature that's unique to the billet MTWs that have the Spartan control board. If you run out of BBs and you have an MTW spec magazine with the little selector arm here on the back, once you run out of BBs, the gun will stop firing. And once you reinsert your magazine, if it's loaded, the gun won't fire again until you press your bolt release or it times out, I think, after about 20 or 30 seconds. If you would rather it not work that way and you want it to immediately work once you pull out your empty mag, you can switch over to simplified mode by holding down your bolt release and your trigger at the same time. And we'll do that for about five to 10 seconds or until it clicks. And now, if it's firing, now that it has an empty mag, it's not firing. And now, without pushing the bolt release, it's firing again. So to enter programming mode on the Spartan Electronics, we'll just want to take our battery and you don't want to plug it all the way in, just get it enough that it's not even powering the board on yet. And then you can go ahead and pull the trigger and then plug your battery all the way in. Now that you held down the trigger and plugged in the battery, you should be in programming mode. The easiest way to confirm this is that your gun isn't gonna fire until you let go of the trigger while you're in programming mode. If we go ahead and switch over to the full auto position and hold down the trigger, it will fire at a set interval, three shots, and you'll hear them steadily get faster. This will be your rate of fire. And at each one of the shots, you can hear how fast the rate of fire for that setting will be. If you wanna double check what your rate of fire of the current setting is, all you do is tap and let go of the trigger. And you can hear how fast it is currently. So hopefully if you didn't know about all the features of the Spartan Electronics, or even if you were trying to decide which ones were right for you, this video was super helpful. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you out on the field.